Hi Cancer, welcome back to my channel. I'm an intuitive tarot card reader. Welcome to your September general tarot reading. This will be an intuitive reading, drawing out some messages which may be helpful for you for the upcoming month of September. Um, otherwise, please feel free to check out your other August readings which are up on my channel. I have linked a few of them to this video. Otherwise, let's jump straight into it. This reading can be for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Or if you're dealing with a Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, this video could be applicable for you. Let's see what's happening for all the Cancerians watching. Okay, big future plans are being made. This is exciting, absolutely beautiful. We've got the Lovers card that has come up. Eight of Swords, Nine of Cups. Okay, let's jump into the Three of Cups here. You will have a reason to celebrate here, Cancer. A lot of you will be celebrating love or a soulmate connection that's taking shape in the month of September. Now, for a lot of you, the fact that the High Priestess and the Three of Wands have also come up in this reading, um, I really feel like the relationship you're entering into around the time of September, or if you have someone very significant around you during the time of September, there is a long-term prospect between the two of you. Your long-term potential is absolutely outstanding now for some of you it could be a group of friends because this is like the muses the three fates uh, this is a kind of celebration of joy of toasting to something um, community groups friendship groups collaborative um, events or circumstances the workplace I really feel like that's going to be on a high for you that's very much coming up on a high note for you cancer you'll genuinely be very very happy with your current set of circumstances indulging in friendships reconnecting with old friends or bumping into old friends even the lovers card face each other you're divinely guided to someone special here some of you might be meeting a soulmate or a twin flame at an unexpected event or a friend might be introducing you to this person i really feel like you're celebrating love um now the high priestess can bring about news of pregnancy or revelations long-term visions and planning so i feel um there's major milestones in love that you'll be approaching this month in september okay it's definitely with someone special here the sign of gemini has come up so you might be uh, dealing with a gemini or there might be a gemini who's coming in with strong soulmate energy around you here cancer during the month of september um, but like I said, anything to do with collaborative events uh, or, or workplaces as well, that's coming through quite prominently. Now, the High Priestess holds a very important prophecy. Um, I feel as though this could be an extension of last month, which I mentioned epiphanies, realizations, you doing a bit of soul searching, digging deep. Um, a lot of things might come from the subconscious or your fears might be heightened. Okay, that might be coming to the surface here. But she can rule pregnancy, philosophy, religion, fruitfulness. Um, she's all about fertility and birth. So uh, new starts, new beginnings that you um, initiate or you uh, progress through in the month of September. I feel like they're destined to be around you for the long term. You also have the dream card and wish card. So there is wish fulfillment in love. Okay, anything to do with love romance um people okay gemini is all about communication so you might be um wishes might be fulfilled in communication for the high priestess holds a very important document in her hand here so some of you are holding an important document it might be a contract it might be the deed to a home it might be a piece of paperwork it might be an important letter um, a very beautiful email or well composed text message but it's something uh, that's of the written word that's going to mean a lot to you cancer and you're going to hold it within very powerful the notion of the divine masculine and divine feminine has come up in the black and white pillars and also with that lover's card i do feel like it is in connection to love so major wish fulfillment in love i think for a lot of you um overstepping that boundary or making wonderful progression because you also have the three of wands and this is about a long-term vision a long-term future now some of you might be moving abroad or thinking about um moving for the purposes of love uh, could be career you know it's something to it's tied in with your wishes so you might just wish to be living in a different country immerse yourself in a different culture learn a new language um see how the other half lives but there's a long-term prospects of things that are happening around you in september and this is really very positive it could also be with a fire sign here in aries a sagittarius or leo there might be a fire sign here around you that's considering you as part of their future or wants you a part of their future here 
I really feel like um, the hobbies or events or creative pursuits, things that you start doing in September are going to be around you for the long term here, uh, Cancer. So you might be starting a new idea, you might be starting a new book, you might be starting a new business venture, you might be starting a new job, a new um, exercise regime. There's something that you're going to implement and it's going to be around you uh, for the long term, uh, which I absolutely love. But it is about starting a journey here. Um, and there's a lot of new starts and new beginnings uh, that could potentially impact you because the number three has come up twice, it could potentially impact you for the next three days, three weeks, three months, even three years. You know, it is more of a long term vision here. So uh, and it, it could be in connection with long term investments. There might be other people you might be collaborating with. They will pop up in your future again, Cancer. So pay attention to this month because these people might show up again. Uh, in years, months, or weeks to come, okay? They might be back. They might be hovering around you during this time. You've got the beautiful Lovers card, which is Gemini energy, uh, love compatibility, finding love or entering a beautiful union here. Um, you do, I really feel like this is the, the start of a new romance or the start of a beautiful relationship for a lot of you Cancerians watching. Um, there is the promise for a long-term commitment or even a family to come of this or introducing this person to your family, to your children, to your grandchildren. Uh, there's a very strong connection with the future with this person or the uh, this person is thinking about the future already, whether or not you've met. But there is an important meeting taking place. It might be for the purposes of work or creative pursuits, collaboration. It could even be a job interview. Um, I really feel like for the most part, it's going to go really, really successfully. So it's going to go quite well for you, Cancer. So you shouldn't fret. Uh, but the Lovers card... You know, it is divine intervention. You see an angel emerging from the clouds here. So um, this is about serendipity. It's about fate. It's about meeting someone at the right time. You being at the right place at the right time, meeting this person for a reason. Okay, it's part of your prophecy. Again, possibly an extension from the previous month for you. So very, very nice to see. It's also Gemini energy. So anything to do with communication. Um this is all going to come to the surface because if there has been an air sign around you with Gemini, possibly Libra, Aquarius, or someone who's been holding back in communication or has been retracting, maybe hasn't been contacting you as much, maybe hasn't had much expressive things to say, maybe has even distanced, distanced themselves or pulled away, there could be fickle behavior being um, exhibited from someone here. It could be from you as well, Cancer. The twins are very, very dual. They each have their own direction, their own mindset, their own wants, needs, desires. And oftentimes people can say, you know, that, that Gemini energy is like, if, if you're with a Gemini, it's like potentially dating uh, two people at the one time. So I'm not sure if that's what you're experiencing here, but I do feel uh, it's all about messaging connection communication this is very much heightened and any insecurities that someone is having or insecurities you might be having that might be dwelling around um, in the back of your mind are all going to come into the surface here but what I like is that someone's really really in touch and is sensing a lot of things I don't think it's just you cancer I feel like someone is connecting with you on a more emotional or spiritual frequency and this is why I think this is a connection that's to be encouraged to be explored at least um, but look, there is an important document that's coming to you and it could very well be a contract here. I do feel like you're divinely guided. So it could be a higher power that's connecting to you, to this person, whether male, or female, could be a couple, could be three people. And they're in connection with your prophecy, your future. They have something to communicate to you or some important paperwork or prophecy. They're a part of your journey for one reason or another. So something you have to pay attention to. Eight of Swords can be seen as nervousness, anxiousness. Um, it's really putting yourself in a precarious situation and not feeling as though you can move or, you know, there's there's anything you can do. I feel for some of you, if, be, if you've been stuck, whether this is psychologically, whether this is financially, whether this is in regards to love, I do feel you have someone here that's looking out for you or someone that's going to want to come in and help you in some way. Um, there could be a person of the other sex, okay, other gender. They could identify as someone from the other gender. But I do feel with that, I feel like someone's coming in and complimenting you, but they're going to help you out of this Eight of Swords. You might be their saving grace cancer. You might be the one saving someone else from their Eight of Swords misery. Um, 
They could also be an air sign that's very, very fearful to move forward with you, but they are thinking about you. They definitely have you on their mind. It's just they're fearful about moving forward. There's, there's something here that doesn't sit well with them. But it's also a card of not having your, um, not seeing your vision, not seeing your future vision, which contrasts starkly with the three of uh, wands. But then you've got the nine. And I think that's a really strong note, um, a really strong way to wrap up the month. The nine of cups is a wish card. It's the dream card. It's, it's, it's water energy because cups rules water. So it is you. And I think you're starting and ending the month on a very, very happy note, wrapping things up really, really well. But wish fulfillment in love or for the future is coming up very strongly for you, Cancer. It's almost like the plans that you've made. I think it's more to do with long-term plans, long-term goals, long-term visions. The plans that you're making, are go you're going to see them through. It, it's, it's, yeah, look, it, it looks really, really positive. Um, it's things aligning for you. Things are falling into place. You're getting the documents you need. You're telling people about this. You're sharing your news. You're connecting with the right people. Your insecurities are being laid to rest. There's people that are trying to help you, that are trying to aid you in your, you know, whatever it is that you're wanting to um, bring into your experience. But it could also be a water sign here. If you're connecting with a fellow water sign romantically, creatively, professionally, things are going to go extremely well between the two of you. You'll celebrate each other's successes or you'll help lift each other, inspire each other or encourage each other. But it is the dream card. So dreams, hopes, wishes, something about fantasies. But you've had these fantasies for a long time, Cancer. Um, you've had these dreams. You've held on to this vision. And now it's finally, finally happening. There's, there's, I think it's... Because the Gemini is a very people energy, and that's the only sign that has come up here, um, if it's not like a direct connection with a lover or someone very influential in your life, I do feel as though it's all about communication. People are going to get you places. And that's not to say your success lies, your, your fate lies in the hands of another person. I definitely feel it's within your grasp, uh, Cancer. But the people that are around you, your social sphere, your resources, but it's all through people that are going to actually move mountains for you and work wonders and achieve that wish fulfillment here, which is extremely exciting, Cancer. So congratulations. Um, I hope you do have a fantastic September.